Hello fellow creatives, thank you for tuning in. I've been trying to find a way with Midjourney to create a character who looks the same but with different expressions. I've actually been trying to do this since I started Midjourney with no good results for my first comic book, so I stopped and just decided to draw the character myself. But not everyone knows how to draw, and not everyone has a drawing tablet or to take the time to draw on a piece of paper, scan it, and upload it to your computer or your phone, etc, etc, etc. It's too much work, am I right? You just want to create quick and show your creation out there to an audience. I've been asked a few times how to get the same characters for different panels without resembling something else. It took some tweaking and trying to use the same seed to get the same resulting character, but it doesn't always come out the first try, so you'll need to recycle your designs. As you can see with these images, they didn't come out right the first time, some did though. The best method I think may work is being specific but not too wordy. Check this prompt out. How did I get this character to look similar and have many types of emotions? Well, you just simply type a character design with different types of emotions in different panels. That's it. I found out that not incorporating ending prompts like dash dash test or dash dash quality etc did not render too good of results. I just kept it simple, but it's a learning curve and you can modify it the way you want. You can also use an ending prompt called dash dash same seed or dash dash seed with whatever number you like. Same seed just means that you'll try to render the same design for each of your panels. It's going to be messy at first. But once you get it close, you'll be able to keep rendering the same character. Now on some prompts I did put dash dash quality, dash dash test to see what I can get. But I found that keeping it simple gave you a better result. Also, make sure you have an idea of how your character should look like and be specific in your prompts. But again, not too wordy. For this character, all I typed was the depiction of the same character in different panels with curly hair, chubby cheeks, and round head showing different types of emotions. Then from there, all I did was upscale the ones that I liked. And then when they finished upscaling, all I had to do was remaster it and then I'll get a finished product the way that I liked. And from there, I got these similar characters. If you want a male or a female character, make sure you type female character or male character or whatever adjective that you want to add. Then describe their look and make sure you type different emotions to try to get your character to make different facial expressions. But once you upscale the image and remaster, you can then keep making variations by clicking the variation button or the recycle to make more variations. So let me know if this helped out. And like I've mentioned, you'll need to keep recycling. And if that didn't work, try adding smiling to your prompt, then later adding angry to another prompt and see where that takes you. You can also try side profile, back of the head, up angle, portrait shot, etc. to get what you want. Again, don't be too wordy, but do be specific. I'm still working on this, but I think this method works fairly well. What do you all think? Do you have a different method that works for you? Let me know what you think in the descriptions below. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope that you like, comment, share and subscribe. This helps my channel grow and get seen by a larger audience. I'll let you get down to creating, huh? This is Art signing off. And don't forget, use it or lose it.